Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to have a fantastic cocktail that was created by Marshall Davis. Now, the inspiration for this came to him while he was creating a smoked pineapple flan for the dessert menu for the bar that he used to work at. And that place is called the Gallo Pelon Mezcaleria. And that is in North Carolina, I want to say. So if I'm wrong, please leave a comment down below. However, the idea of something that smells like smoked pineapple and flan put together, you just know I love dessert. So let's try this out. So following in the steps of a standard size tiki uh, cocktail, this has seven total ingredients. So you know what? This is going to be fun. Let's get into it. And we're going to start by grabbing your shaking glass. Now you could swizzle this. However, I'm going to shake it for a diluter. Plus I don't have a swizzle stick. But if you have a swizzle stick, build it in a glass instead. But that's totally up to you. So we're going to start with your mezcal of choice. Now on my shelf, I happen to have Mexicalia mezcal. And we're going to start with... We're going to start with one ounce or 30 milliliters. Fantastic. Now this is actually one of my favorite mezcals, you know what, but use what you like most. Don't settle for just any type of mezcal or any type of rum, because we're going to continue this with a Jamaican rum. Now I'm using some Fortress rum, which just has Canadian brand on it, but it originally originates from Jamaican, then is aged in our uh, Mags and Roy up in Nova Scotia. And for this, we're going to use another one ounce or 30 milliliters. Perfect. The next thing you're going to use is some pineapple juice. And I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, so there's no sugar added, there's no pulp. Again, use what you like, but we're going to use the same one ounce or 30 milliliters. Beautiful. The next thing you're going to use now is a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So before you get started, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the ends off and then we're going to cut it in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Gorgeous. I love lemon and pineapple together in a cocktail. Now the next thing we're going to use is a little bit of homemade orgeat. So what I'm going to do is put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And once you've had a chance to look at it, you'll understand why mine's darker. I used unblanched uh, uh, almonds to make this, so it's not as white or as light as some that you would see. And we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now, the next thing we're going to use is some of the bitters, but we're not going to use all of the bitters right away. We're going to use our chocolate bitters first, but we're going to garnish towards the end with our uh, Angostura bitters. So hold on till the end so you can see how it turns out while I stumble over some words. However, I'm using some Nickel 9 chocolate coffee bitters. Fantastic, and we're going to use three dashes. This is gonna be awesome. Now this is the point where you could add a little bit of crushed ice and you could swizzle it. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the glass with some ice and I'm gonna shake it really, really hard. I'm going to save the crushed ice for actually making the drink itself. So what you wanna do, slap your lid on. Through the magic of uh, editing, I've rebuilt the drink. However, this could be a good reason to actually swizzle this drink. But, make sure your top is actually under solid, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand dashes of chocolate bitters. Put these off to the side safely, because the way I'm going today, I'm just going to destroy everything. Grab your glass of choice. Now this is a stemless wine glass, or a tulip glass, depending on what you want to call it. And what we're going to do now is fill this about halfway with some crushed ice. You don't want to uh, fill it up all the way because you want to make sure that you can get all of the drink in there before you add more. So now what we'll do is we'll just use a Hawthorne strainer. I'm not worried about keeping any chips of ice out like so. Oh, look at that. 
Now what you wanna do is you wanna add more crushed ice on top. And you wanna just fill that to the top like so. But now that you've done that, what you wanna do is grab your Angostura bitters and we're going to put five dashes on here like so. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. And now what we're going to do is we're going to top this off with a little bit of Chinese five spices. And we're just gonna like so, and that's absolutely perfect. Now, grab yourself a straw, slide it in like so. And what you're gonna do first is give it a bit of a smell. So you immediately get the smell of the spices and the Angostura bitters. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh. That is so good. The mezcal is there, but it's slight. It's just a light hint of smoke with the rum. It's well blended. And the pineapple and the lemon and the orgeat pull everything together. Absolutely fantastic. What I am going to do is put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if you think that we should make any adjustments to this fantastic cocktail, please leave a comment. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put out a new video, you will be notified. And every time I make a mess like I did earlier, <laughs> you'll have a chance to laugh. You have a fantastic day.